boys and girls. I wanted to welcome my sweet little lion class. I wanted to welcome Miss Martinez's class and Mrs. Gaskin's class. How are you guys doing? Welcome to Bible time. I just want to say, boys and girls, that we miss you so much. It's super hard to teach um, without you guys being here. I miss seeing your little faces in front of me, so eager and excited. Oh, just know that you guys are loved, loved, loved. All right, let's go ahead and start off our Bible with prayer, okay? Heavenly Father, we just praise you, Father God. We ask, Lord Jesus, that you would just calm our hearts. Help us to be still, Father God. Help our hearts and our minds to be pondering and thinking about you, Father God. Please bless our Bible time together. Please bless the kindergartners. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for their health. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that we can come together and learn about you. We ask that you bless this time together. In your mighty name we pray. And we all said, Amen. All right, so, so uh, Mrs. Gaskin's class and Miss Martinez's class, my classroom learned a um, song the last two weeks. It was our Bible verse, Psalms 56.3. And we'd like to share it with you. Maybe you guys even know it. I don't know, because sometimes we sing different songs. But we would like to teach it to you. And then tomorrow, I'll introduce a brand new verse to you. Are you ready to learn it? Come on, it's going to be fun. God is 
speaking to us in the Bible. Mm, I love it. So I did get my lesson from the Bible today. What else am I in here? Oh my goodness, what is it? What? A pair of scissors? Hmm, that's a little unusual. Hmm, wonder what a pair of scissors has to do with our Bible lesson. Let's put those right here. And oh, there's two more things, but they're very heavy. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and just toss that. What? Ah. Oh. What? Are you telling me that weights have something to do with our Bible lesson? Huh. What are you guys thinking? Any ideas? Hmm. Well, let me go ahead and share with you right here. These are pictures of um, our Bible lesson. All right, so um, our Bible lesson gets started with a story that we've learned a long time ago. Do you remember the Israelites? Yeah, those Israelites, they were always getting into trouble with God. Even after God had rescued them and delivered them and has taken care of them, those Israelites, God's children, they kept getting in trouble with God, even after God had delivered them from um, Egypt. Do you remember King Pharaoh? And do you remember how he held all of God's children, the Israelites, as slaves? That's right. And then God delivered them from them, and still the Israelites would forget, and they would start sinning against God. They would get into trouble even after God delivered them from King Pharaoh. And then the Israelites were getting into trouble even after God parted the Red Sea and helped them get through. The Israelites soon forgot and they would still get into trouble. Isn't that crazy? I think it's crazy. Oh yes, I remember Mrs. Gaston teaching us about the manna that fell from heaven. How our God provided for the Israelites. The Israelites soon forgot and they started getting into trouble with God. Oh my goodness, these Israelites. Let's see. Oh, here's Moses. Moses went up the mountain and God had given him the Ten Commandments. And when Moses came down, the Israelites were worshiping other gods. Those Israelites kept getting into trouble. Something had to be done. That's punishment. God caused punishment to his children, the Israelites, because they did not obey God. Okay? So, God caused the Philistines, the Israelites' enemies, to capture them and they took charge of the Israelites, God's children, for 10, 20, 30, 40 years, all because they stopped listening to God and they kept getting into trouble with him. But that's when our story starts. Then came somebody else. Hmm, who is going to deliver the Israelites? God is going to use someone named Samson. Sam, have you ever heard of Samson? God is going to use Samson to set the Israelites free. But there was a problem. Samson's, mo Samson's mom, she could not get pregnant and she did not have any children. Oh no, what are we going to do? So, one day, an angel of the Lord came to Samson's mom and he said something to her. Would you like me to tell you? Okay, here's my Bible. My Bible has a line of palm music as a bookmark and I'm gonna open it. Remember the Bible has two parts. It has the Old Testament and the New Testament. Okay, the Old Testament is where we're going first and I'm going to the book of Judges. Do you see right here? It says Judges. And I highlight this special part right here. It's 13. It talks about the story of Samson. Let's see what the angel says. He says, you are not able to have children. We know that, but you are going to become pregnant.
red yet. <gasps> That's like scary. You will have a baby boy. Uh-oh, but there's some stipulations. That means rules to follow. Make sure that you do not drink any kind of wine. Also, make sure you do not eat anything that is unclean. You will become pregnant and you will have a son. There is more. Do you want to hear it? It says, the hair on his head must never be cut. They must never cut Samson's hair. Whoa. That is because the boy will be a Nazarite. He will be set apart to God from the day that he is born. He will take the lead in saving Israel from the power of the Philistines. Samson was born and God was going to use Samson to set the Israelites free. Oh my goodness, that is so exciting. So here is um, Samson's mom and dad and the angel is speaking to him. Now, boys and girls, Samson had another special gift. Do you want to know what his special gift was? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you. He had his gift was being very, very strong. He was incredibly strong. Do you see that picture right there? That shows a very strong man. Samson was a very strong dude. And do you know what happened to Samson? And we'll talk about this more in this coming week. But Samson was so strong that he killed a lion. And he also defended himself from over 1,000 Philistines. Now, do you know what the problem is? Is that Samson did not like the Philistines and the Philistines didn't like Samson. And like a lot of our stories in the Bible, the Philistines wanted to get rid of Samson. Hmm. Tomorrow, I'm gonna tell you if that happens. All right, boys and girls, thank you for joining me for Bible. I always love having you. Why don't you go ahead and share the story of Samson, at least the first part of, of Samson, that we learned about with your shoulder partner, okay? I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.